Welcome to my channel Living Library. I'm your host Dave. I'll be sharing knowledge about consciousness, spirituality and life. Stay tuned. What sabotages you in life? By Lady Nada, channel through Natalia Pavlakovic. Podcast. Hello everyone reading this message. I have been given the opportunity through Natalia, the person channeling me to convey my personal message to you wonderful souls who have embarked on their path of spiritual progress from which there is no return. Because you are brave souls who, despite all the difficulties that such a life brings, are ready to face, lose and sacrifice. Because the spiritual path is not an easy path. Whoever thinks differently is greatly mistaken. Because facing the huge amount of negativity you carry from incarnation to incarnation is neither simple nor easy. Take for example just Natalia, the person channeling me. Her journey has been filled with many adversities, difficulties, sufferings, and pains but only her perseverance and love for us have brought her to a level of vibration and awareness where she is willing to help and serve others. Many times she wanted to give up and still today she wants to escape somewhere where she will be alone and surrounded only by what she loves. But that's not her way. Her path is the path of serving and helping all those wonderful souls who have decided that this will be their last incarnation on earth. There are few of them because the lower self persistently sabotages and blocks your every attempt to step out of the comfort zone, to face the consequences of your actions and decisions, and to finally take the helm of your life into your own hands. Many are not even aware of that energy and what it does to them in life. They find it okay to criticize or impose their opinion on others. But it is not something that would make up your higher self, that part of you that is directly connected to the divine energy or God as you call it. By doing negativity to others either verbally or mentally, you are mostly harming yourself as you lower your vibration, accumulate an amount of negative energy, and create karma between yourself and other people. Your lower self thinks that it knows all the best and that its truth is the one and only. Your lower self has a constant need to prove itself and will tell you that you need to work even harder, learn even more, and exhaust your body even more while telling you that you are worthless or that there will never be anything from you. Your lower self is in a constant race with other people, believing that only the strongest wins and that this is the only way it can survive. Your lower self does not want you to progress spiritually because then it knows that you would see all the lies of life that it imposes on you on a daily basis by forcing you from one pattern of false belief to another. Arousing fear is his greatest pleasure, especially if he manages to push you into a corner where you tremble, not wanting to face the cause of your fear. He rubs his hands contentedly when you run away from what you have to do to raise your vibration and consciousness. There are many other ways that your lower self stops you, and I will talk about them during my correspondence with you, because, we, meaning we in the spirit world, want to become aware of that energy in your life, the energy that is responsible for all the evil that happens in the world. Because if each of you manages to become aware and control that energy, the world will gradually become a better place. By Lady Nada Channel through Natalia Pavlakovic.